Pastor Jeffers is a regular contributor on Fox News, and Right Wing Watch caught him making a cringeworthy comment in a recent sermon. All you have to do is look in history to see what God does with a nation that sanctions the killing of its own children. I mean, just look at the nation of Israel. Israel was the only nation in the world that could truly be said they were God's chosen people, and yet because they got involved in the worship of Moloch, the pagan god, and they sacrificed their children on the altar, what did God do? He raised up the godless Babylonians and Assyrians to bring judgment on his own people. People ask me all the time, oh, I just don't understand why God wouldn't protect our nation. And he would allow, you know, these uh, radical Muslims on 2001 to kill 3,000 of our citizens. And why God doesn't protect us? Surely God doesn't use pagans to bring judgment upon his own people, does he? Just read the Bible. God will not allow sin to go unpunished, and he certainly won't allow the... uh, sacrifice of children to go unpunished. 9-11 was punishment for abortion, is what he's arguing there. Well, thank you for admitting something to us, Pastor Jeffers. Thank you for admitting that you agree with Al-Qaeda. Thank you for admitting that you agree with Islamic fundamentalism. That's your argument. That's not what I'm saying, that's what you're saying. You're saying this is God's judgment on America. By definition, you, of course, agree with God's judgment because he's your God. You can't question your God unless you think you can question your God. Do you think you can question your God? That would be blasphemy, right? You're not allowed to question your God under your own religion. God is God. You can't second-guess God. So this is God's punishment, God's judgment on America for abortion. So you actually agree with what Al-Qaeda did. You agree with the Islamic fundamentalists. Thank you for admitting that. Uh, Go turn on... Fox News now and see if they're attacking their contributor, Pastor Jeffers, for essentially saying that America deserved 9-11 for abortion. (laughs) Huh, I guarantee you they're not discussing it. And let's not forget here, they make it seem like it's obvious and it's clear that abortion is wrong in the Bible. It's not. It's not. In fact, abortion is in the Bible. There are parts of the Bible that are flat out pro-abortion. If you don't know that, you're just ignorant and you haven't read the Bible. We've discussed it before, man. Don't make me go through it again. There's one part of the Bible where God goes through Samaria and rips the fetuses out of the stomachs of women. That's literally God performing abortions. Uh, There's another part of the Bible where they advocate if your wife cheats, you need to give her what's called bitter water in the Bible. It's basically a euphemism for poison. And she drinks it. If she has a miscarriage, in other words, if she has an abortion, well, then that kid was the kid of the person that she cheated with, and it's good. So it's good that she aborted. But if she drinks it and everything's all good and she has a baby, well, that baby was yours, and that's how you know, you know, God let it happen because it's your baby. So that's the Bible saying if your wife cheats on you, let her have an abortion. They don't know this. Why? Because they don't read the Bible. They don't even know what's in their fucking Bible, but they claim to believe it. They think it's the Word of God. They think it's so holy. They think there's nothing in it that's wrong. But then when you bring up, well, what about the parts of the Bible that are pro-abortion? They're like, wait, what? That exists? But my pastor done told me that the Bible don't want no abortion. Right. And his pastor told him that, and then his pastor told him that. And it's a it's a game of telephone with, with a bunch of blithering idiots. None of them ever actually read the goddamn thing. They're all just, my pappy told me! My pappy done told me this! See, what it is, is they take their already held beliefs, their prejudices, and then they just superimpose them onto what uh, onto the Bible itself. So they're reading into the Bible what they want to take out of the Bible. They're just cherry-picking based off their, their the biases they already have. <laughs> and then also, come on, man, it, he ref, uh, referred to abortion as uh, killing our own children. Quote, killing of our own children. How many times have we gone over this? In America, 98% of all abortions happen before 20 weeks. 90% of abortions happen before 12 weeks. So you know what that means? You're dealing with gametes and zygotes and embryos and pre-gestation fetuses. You're talking about a situation where there is literally no pain. It's impossible for the fetus to feel pain because there's no nervous system that's developed yet. That develops around 22 weeks. That's around the time of viability. And by the way, the only 2% that happen after, uh, after 22 weeks are in cases of rape and incest, and if the life of the mother is in danger, and if the, there's a, a defect that's fatal in the fetus, and the, the fetus isn't going to survive anyway. 
So we already have a moderate abortion policy set up in America, which walks uh, this, this fine line, this middle ground. It's a rational middle ground. It's before viability. And these idiots still turn around and act like we're doing genocide or a holocaust and God gave us 9-11 because of that. The fucking plan B pill and condoms led to 9-11. There's no reasoning with these people. That's the point I'm trying to get across to you.